if you see it from the Russian side, without taking the side of Russia, it looks rather different. Uh, there was Russian troops, as you may remember, up in February, massing uh, on the Ukrainian border, and they eventually invaded. That was the news on this side of the border. On the other side of the border, there were 60,000 Ukrainian troops who were massing on the line of contact right across Donbass. Now, Donbass, as far as the Russians are concerned, is, is the last stepping stone. Uh, you're close by Russia, you have a strategic advantage over Russia. Everything in modern Russian history, uh, and in not so modern history, tells us that the Russians will never uh, tolerate this, that they regard this as the threat, and they have much of their history to justify it. But history is, in any discussion of geopolitics, history has to be part of one's analysis, even if it's not overt. It has to be understood. It has, there has to be a basic knowledge of it uh, to understand why things are happening uh, or what is likely to happen. Our ignorance of Russia, like our ignorance of China in the West, allows none of that historical sense of how people see the threat. You must remember, though, that above all, this is a war of propaganda. And I would think almost nothing one reads in the Western press uh, about, about the invasion of Ukraine is to be trusted. Uh, a scepticism, uh, or well, the skills of scepticism, but I'm not sure the reading public, the watching public, particularly in the United States, possesses, that is crucial now because nothing can be believed. The propaganda operation in Ukraine is quite brilliant. Uh, they've managed to uh, invent a chemical warfare attack when there wasn't one. So much of, of Ukraine is infested, if not run by, but infested with, with the true extremists, fascists, neo-Nazis, they are called. I've never seen a, cover a coverage so utterly consumed by a tsunami of jingoism uh, and of manipulated jingoism as this one. And that's why nothing should be trusted. At least we have a way to question what we see and hear and read in the mainstream media. The mainstream media is part of propaganda war. But that's the truth. And we must be skeptical. We must be skeptical of absolutely everything. What to remember here is the US doesn't give a damn about Ukraine. Ukraine is simply a pawn in this. But the object, as the US Defense Secretary is, and I paraphrase him, is to destroy the Russian Federation. That's been known for a long time. That is probably the most dangerous project in the world today.